Welcome, in this video, you'll learn how to create and publish an NPS campaign. Navigate to the campaign section and click the plus campaign button in the top right corner. Select web pop-up from the drop-down menu. Start by entering a name for your NPS campaign. Click the conversion tracking checkbox to track the conversion goal. For example, tracking the number of users after five days of publishing the campaign. Click done and proceed to the who section. Under the who section, define your target audience. In this case, we will create a segment of users who have placed an order. Select the charged event from the drop-down menu. The charged event represents that the user has placed an order. You can define a custom control group or use the preset control group. Click done and proceed. Select message type as single message under the what section and click go to editor. Select the ratings templates tab in the navigation bar. Select the NPS with follow-up question template. Select the title checkbox to enter the title for your NPS pop-up. Start by entering a brief headline for the pop-up in the title field. You can also use the personalization icon to personalize the pop-up using profile or event properties. We personalize each user's name using the profile property in this example. Optionally, you can click the description checkbox to add a description in the pop-up message. Enter the question you want to ask your users in the question text field. Select the Add Labels to Scale checkbox to add labels to your rating scale. For example, on a scale of 0 to 10, enter Not Likely for 0 being the lowest rating, and enter Very Likely for 10 being the highest rating. Further, type in the follow-up question you want to ask your audience. Basis the nature of your question, enter the choices for the multiple choice question in the form. You can enter a maximum of six choices. Click the plus choice button to add a new choice for the multiple choice question. Ensure you select the allow multiple selections checkbox to allow multiple selections of choices for your question. Select the comment box option to include a comment box in the pop-up message. Click the acknowledgement checkbox to configure an acknowledgement message. Enter an acknowledgement text in the message text box to be displayed after a user submits the feedback. For example, you can keep the acknowledgement text as thanks for sharing your feedback. Set the auto close timer for the acknowledgement message. Preview your NPS campaign to perform the final check before you proceed. Click done and proceed to the when section. Under the When section, define the start and end timelines to schedule your NPS campaign for a particular duration. Further, select the Set Frequency checkbox to define how frequently you want to deliver the NPS campaign in a week. As a last step, click the Publish Campaign button to publish the campaign. Confirm the action by clicking Publish button in the pop-up. Congratulations, you just created and published an NPS campaign. Thank you for watching this tutorial.